What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with a follow-up and kind of update episode for after watching the last episode of The Mandalorian, so season 2 episode 6, The Tragedy. So between that and an email or, notifica- or a notification I got regarding what to read next on Kindle, as far as um, another novel that I finished reading, it told me, to, or it recommended to read um, Heir to the Empire, an old Star Wars novel from, I want to say the late 90s that I do remember reading, but it's been a while since I've looked at it, but that got me thinking that um, of something of that era that I actually really liked, and that was the Thrawn story related to the Hand of Thrawn. So if memory serves, it um, was a story that included a side plot of Luke and Luke Skywalker and Mara Jade going to a fortress held by Thrawn. And, which contained not only a military base and his clone, but a facility called the Hand of Thrawn. So, um, basically it was a fortress that was kind of meant to be the base of the Empire of Thrawn after the fall of the Empire, and where the Empire was hope or one of the key locations as far as where the Empire was expecting to rebuild itself in order to retake the galaxy. So... Um, I got to thinking of the remaining two episodes of The Mandalorian and how that could relate to where we're going in the franchise, especially since we now have the name drop for Thrawn and um, the child now known as Grogu being taken to a hidden facility. Um, So... It also was a spec. This is also a speculation on my part from what my friend told me from the last episode that they might be going to um, Camino, the source of the clones from Jango Fett. But more than that, as far as tying together stuff from um, Star Wars canon, Legends, prior media, I got to thinking that the season is going to finish by the Mandalorian, Jango Fett, or sorry, Boba Fett, and Fennec Shan. Or Sean going to or finding the hand of Thrawn and stumbling upon his clone, or even potentially Thrawn himself, regardless of if it's the original or the clone, and finding the facility and finishing the season there. So, um, my guess, if I was to round out season two, is and my theory is that in the next episode they're going to um, find that friend of. Or that criminal that they were trying to find, that um, the Mandalorian was trying to find from, that we saw in uh, season one, and they're going to hack into some imperial spaceship, way station, or something along those lines that that friend of the Mandalorian happens to know about, and that's going to lead them to the Hand of Thrawn deeper out into the unknown regions um, beyond the Outer Rim. So. Whether they take Slave One or they take another, or they find another ship, I think uh, my guess is that next episode is gonna be all of that. It's not necessarily gonna be a short or long episode. I figure it'll probably be around the thirty to forty minute mark, but it's going to encompass finding that friend, um, hacking into a milit- imper- former Imperial ship, accessing some of the databases. Whether they go to Coruscant, maybe even to Camino. Or some other Imperial outpost where they can tie into the Imperial network or the current Imperial network, learning that they have to go to that planet, uh, Niman or Nan, something like that, where the actual Hand of Thrawn is. And that's where the episode is going to end. And then the final episode of the season is going to be them making it to that the Hand of Thrawn, the fortress itself. Whether they find Grogu or not um, is going to be a separate issue, but they're going to make it to the base. Or my guess is either they're going to find him and on their escape they're going to find the Thrawn or the clone of Thrawn, or they're going to find the clone of Thrawn, not necessarily find Grogu there, or but they will somehow manage to learn where he's being kept, whether it's on still whether Grogu's on. Um, Moff Gideon's ship or being held at some other facility but the conclusion is going to be somehow that they find Thrawn and find the current location of Grogu or find Grogu himself and that will lead us directly into season 3 um, I as a bit of a or 
a bit of the nerding out and fandom for myself with Star Wars, I would kind of hope that we get to see Luke Skywalker and possibly Sebastian Stan as Luke Skywalker in this season, but I want to say that would be pushing it a little bit too much too soon. I want to say that they're building up to that into the next season, possibly the season finale of season three, but maybe even somewhere along the lines, maybe middle of season three, around episode four or five, kind of along the lines as when we saw Ahsoka, that um, we have an episode where we meet maybe Wedge, um, not necessarily where I doubt we're going to find Han Solo or Chewbacca or some big name character like that, but I want to say it's possible because we did meet meet, uh, Bo-Katan, but I have a feeling they're going to find someone from the Expanded Universe or Star Wars Legends, make them canon again, maybe even Mara Jade as the potential um, new villain to Season 3 and with her and whether they keep her storyline of being out to kill Luke Skywalker as the final mission from the Emperor or not, um, she's going to be the one to help them lead the Mandalorian, Jango Fett, and Fango, Fennec Shan to Luke Skywalker and make that the quest to or make that the new quest to find Grogu to have him train with Luke Skywalker now and to find him and his kind. So for me, that's introducing that storyline into the end of season two might be a bit much and kind of mess with the, what they do in the next season but concluding season two with finding Thrawn and then having him be the main overarching villain and having Gideon and someone like Amara Jade be the um, minions of Thrawn in season three would help and then round out the season with them with the heroes finding Luke Skywalker regardless of whether or not they have Grogu but still have Grogu in the season to find out what's going on with him I don't really want to see him tortured but just to find out what they're doing with him or how they're using his force powers to progress um the story and as I was seeing over this weekend, that to see how they tie all of that in with um, potentially tying what happened between the fall of the Empire and the rise of the new or the First Order, to kind of bridge that gap to find out what all the various emp- former Empire factions are doing to build up that whole rise. Um, I didn't see too much as far as the whole Mandalorian Chiss War, but that could potentially be a, another. Um, theory or another potential storyline to round out this particular episode but that would also require inter or finalizing the whole story arc with rebuilding mandalore giving it back to the mandalorian so bo-katan rises as a ruler of mandalore re- reuniting the factions and doing all of that and then also introducing the chis ascendancy so that's the flip side to all of this that to in order to keep and keep the storylines relatively simple through the end of season three is that they still make the group still makes it to the hand of Thrawn and they learn about Thrawn and the Chiss ascendancy they see his clone and we learn that Thrawn is still um surviving and he has rebuilt potentially the empire of Thrawn or empire of the hand where they're working on introducing the Chiss ascendancy into the old republic or into the new republic space or into the former empire space and that causes um the mandalorian and jango fett to work on reuniting the clans to rebuild mandalore and that's the end of that concludes season three with mandalore being rebuilt and then the chiss ascendancy fleet pushing their way into new republic space so either one of those theories kind of works for me um the whole Either way, season three is going to be one of those building seasons where the Mandalorians are rebuilding Mandalore or they learn about what Thrawn is doing to rebuild the Empire to fight against the New Republic. And the Hand of Thrawn is a key element in all of that because of the cloning facility that is still being maintained by Thrawn and the Chiss Ascendancy. Um, And then... We f- learn about all the various force users or force enabled people being held there in captivity, whether it's just Grogu or a variety of force users. Um, 
and then that takes us throughout season three to um, however it lands. But my current thinking is that we're going to round out this season with the Hand of Thrawn, and that is actually that is also my current hope as well. But that is all for this particular theory episode, so I can't wait for these final two episodes of um, season two of The Mandalorian to see how right or wrong I am or what other stuff from the expanded universe they bring into The Mandalorian. But um, if you want to get in touch with me, my Twitter is PatelN01. The website is PatelN01.com for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.